Hello, this is Bishop Garland Hunt, and this is the Power of Hope devotional. Welcome back. I have brand new devotionals that I want to talk to you about, but but today I want to actually focus in on the, uh, the what I, I guess we would call August. Uh, the, when I did this, is doing August, and August is my birthday month. So if you want to, you know, send me a million dollars, feel free to do so. Uh, I have a cash app <laughs> that you can send it to with a dollar sign. Advocate 58, capital A, dollar sign, Advocate 58, if you want to, you know, send me that million dollars for just a blessing to me. Now, but oh, seriously, I'm, 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 I'm kidding, but not really. But other than that, just, it's, August is a time of new beginnings. August is a time of new beginnings. And uh, very, very important for us to realize that because I want to give it a time for you to determine what God's going to prophetically do in your life. And I just believe sometimes the calendar, even though the calendar may not necessarily be um, the most um, prophetic, but I, I, I'm using it prophetically to talk about a season of your life. I'm using it prophetically to talk about a season of your life. So number one, I wrote down eight prophetic declarations for your new beginning. Eight, eight prophetic declarations for your new beginning. Number one, number one is that you are walking into a season of prosperity and abundance. You're walking into a season of prosperity and abundance. So you believe that. I want you to believe that and hold on to it. Because I'm aren't you tired of lack? Aren't you tired of barely making it? Aren't you tired of that spirit of I can't, I can't buy this, but I got to choose for that. And then the way prices are going up and all these things, and gas is going up and you just, you're in a position where you just feel like you're not winning. I want you to walk in prosperity. I'm believing God for you right now that you're walking in a season of prosperity and abundance. And I can also be spiritual prosperity, but I narrow it down. I'm focusing on natural, natural prosperity and abundance. You're walking into that season. Secondly, you will walk into a season of experiencing the presence of God in your life. Walking into a season of the presence of God in your life. I believe he wants to show up in your life. I believe he's beckoning and calling you to his private, private chambers. I believe that you're going to see him in a greater way in this season. Number three, I believe you're going to experience the power of the Holy Ghost. The supernatural power of the Holy Ghost is coming to you right now. If you are sick, if you're disabled, if you have infirmities, if you have problems that you can't solve on your own, I'm telling you the supernatural power of the Holy Ghost is walking and welcome in your favor. It's coming to you. You're going to see more of the miraculous power of the Holy Spirit right now. The, the, the another thing is that this is a season of prevailing fair, prayers. The Bible says effectual fervent prayer, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avail of much. I'm saying your prayers will avail much. So you, the, the prayers have to be prevailing. Your, your prayers are going to increase. Your prayers are going to have answers. Your prayers are going to have more power. Now, more power to your prayers as you walk into this new season. Number two is that the posture before the Lord, your posture would change. So, so, so when you, sometimes when you're standing up and you want to talk about the Lord, you stand up straight. But when you're before the Lord, and, and like Isaiah 6 and other, you get down and get as low as you can because the lower you go, the more you can stand up. So I'm seeing your posture in two different ways. Posture before the Lord, which is down, and posture before the Lord, which is up. But God is doing a great thing in your life. Your posture is about to change in, in this in this season. Also, the presentation of Christ. He, you, he, he wants you to talk about him. You're going to be talking about the Lord more. You're going, to, you're going to think about talking about the Lord more. There are more people that are going to come to Christ because you're going to present Christ to them in a more effective way. So there's the excellence coming to you in your testimony that you're in a season to present Christ Jesus to those around you. Also, there, there are the persistence and patience. You have to keep, keep on. And many times people will, 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 will give up. You give up. You start praying and you give up. I'm saying persist. Persistent and patiently endure and don't give up. 
And God's going to give you that anointing to do it in this season. And then lastly, man, you got to walk in the peace of God. The peace of God with passive all understanding shall keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. So listen, believe God for God to do great things. This is a new season in your life. This is a new time of favor and a new beginning. This is Bishop Garland Hunt. This is the Power of Hope devotional. I'll talk to you next time.